Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with my next video and this one's going to be talking about Free Comic Book Day and specifically how the event works, how you can find out if your local comic book store is participating and I suppose for my channel specifically, how you can make sure that you can get your hands on this year's uh, Cora Free Comic Book Day book for 2018. This uh, Cora and Milo story that's going to be available for free this year from any store participating in the event. So we'll go back here. This is the official Free Comic Book Day website, which is freecomicbookday.com. And I suppose, first of all, what is Free Comic Book Day? It's every, it's the first Saturday in every May. So it's a yearly event. And basically, um, all the different comic book publishers um, either put one or two, sometimes three, free comics uh, basically available to comic book stores. And the idea is that comic book stores buy these issues and then they give them out for free on this event and this event is kind of hyped up by all of the different comic publishers it's made into a huge event to basically promote local comic book stores and the idea is that it's overall meant to help the comic book industry by giving away free comics you're bringing in new customers to these stores who've maybe never been in them before you're getting them into potentially buying the actual books and trades and stuff like that when they come out and it's just helping to support local comic book stores and thus in the end ultimately help support different comic publishers and that's why when we'll get to showing off the different comics that are going to be available for free you'll see that it is for the most part you know sort of aimed at kids but there are some things that are available that are kind of aimed more at kind of uh, you know regular comic fans uh, as well so that's the kind of core of the event and then it's important to know that as far as I'm aware, your local store has to actually buy these free books and they give it away for free with the idea that what they're getting back from this is that they're probably going to sell a lot of normal comics as well on that day and the idea is that they're going to bring in enough customers to kind of justify buying in all those comics. So, the first thing I think in terms of like I have no idea what's happening here but I want to get the, core, the free core comic and other comics what do I do? You have to find where your local co comic book store is because this only takes place in comic book stores. And so on the Free Comic Book Day website, they have a find a shop feature here. So if you're from America, I believe you can just post in your zip or postal code here and it will find it for you. If you're international, you can just click on this link here and it will bring you to the kind of more detailed um, uh, comic book finder. So I'll just quickly do my one as a test. So we'll scroll down to Ireland and Dublin 16, I think is the closest one to me and go. Okay, so that is my local comic book store. That's the one where I've attended the last couple of years, the free comic book day event, the Big Bang comic shop uh, in Dundrum. So that's where I'm gonna be attending this year um, for anyone wondering. Um, and yeah, you can find that yourself. And, and note how it says under the name, you know, Free Comic Book Day Participant. Um, this is where you have to also be aware that you can have a local comic book store, but if they're not participating in the event, that more than likely means they haven't, like, uh, you know, got any of the free comic books. They haven't actually, like, uh, purchased them. Uh, and again, if you find a local comic book store, but it doesn't say free comic book day participant, you can maybe contact your local store just to confirm if they are or are not participating in the event. But if they are, that's great. And then the after this, I think the important thing uh, at this point is to, I suppose, talk about you know how busy your local comic book store is uh, in relation to what time you should attend the event on Saturday at. Um, because they, there's not an unlimited supply of these books. Because they have to buy them in, they obviously kind of plan how much of each one they buy. They obviously get in more of the bigger ones like Marvel and DC than they do of some of the more obscure titles. So if you want one of those more obscure ones, which I'm not going to say the Korra one is going to be an obscure one this year, but the way that Dark Horse have sort of placed it, it's not their kind of number one free comic this year, that's their Overwatch book this year, so there will probably be less copies of the Korra one going around than there will be of, say, the Overwatch one or any of the Marvel or DC ones. So if you think that your local comic book store or know that your local comic book store will be very, very busy, you expect there'll be a queue 
basically as soon as they open, then you need to be like, okay, I probably need to attend, join the queue uh, before the comic store even opens. Because as an example, last year for free comic book day, did I even go? No, I, I didn't actually go last year because there was no, no, none of the books I really wanted. But 2016, the last time I attended free comic book day, um, when there was the uh, Cora Friends for Life book, I believe I went down at like half seven or so and they opened up at nine so I, I arrived at the store like an hour and a half before they open and I was probably around 15th in the queue uh, which I was pretty c confident about like okay look they, they at least have 15 copies of the book I'm, I'm gonna get the, bu the book that I want but you know coming up to like half an hour even an hour before they opened like the queue was getting really really long to the point where like I, th I think by the time they opened it was like a hundred plus people going back and at that point, if you're joining the queue, I don't think you're going to get some of those kind of lesser books because your your local comic book store is going to uh, handle how they actually give out the books differently. My comic book store just kind of places all of the books in separate piles on a big table and they let people into the store like roughly 10 at a time and you basically just walk around this really long table and pick up the comics that you want, but you can only get one of each comic, but you can get one of each of the 40 different comics if you want there's no limit on like you can only get five you can only get ten but i believe some stores do do that some stores actually only like put them in like uh like bags basically like here's a here's a bag with like five comics here's what you get so you kind of have to like search around to get one that has the book that you want whereas i kind of like the way my comic book store does it but um at the same time, I can sort of see the negative to it because a lot of the people who were like really early in the queue were obviously their like regular customers and they just went around and picked up one of each even though like, like I highly doubt there's too many people who read like every single comic. So it's just kind of like, do you really need to pick up that like, you know, Powerpuff Girls comic if you don't read the series? Like th that sort of, th that sort of thing. Um, Whereas, like, I tend to be like, uh, yeah, here's the five that I want or something like that. Um, but, again, that's up to you and figuring out how your local comic book store is going to actually do the event. And most comic stores have Facebook pages. They probably have an event kind of page up for the for free comic book day. And they'll let you know, like, when they're planning an opening. You can judge from the, like, how many people are planning to attend, how busy it's going to be. And potentially they'll write down uh, how they're going to actually give out the stuff. Uh, other things that happen on the day, they, they're usually the idea is that like, you know, you kind of ha uh, get people coming cosplay as well. So that's going to happen because it's like free comic book day, of course. Um, which means there's usually probably some sort of like a cosplay competition with prizes, um, raffles, that sort of thing, face painting potentially. Um, again, up to your local comic book store about how much of an event they're making out of it beyond just the giving out the comics um, but I think that's like the core of what actually happens on the event uh, as I said uh, in my local comic book store it's you walk around this big table pick up the free comic books you want and then you're basically in the store and can obviously look around the store to, to pick up any comics you actually want to buy because obviously it's just specific comics that are the free ones and anything else you actually have to purchase um, and usually I, I, I because of free comic book day and what it is I try to be like okay look I'll buy something here I, do, I don't want to just come in like as a regular customer get the free comics and leave on this big event day so I tend to buy something um, so that's entirely up to you of course if you want to do that um, and and so for me the event tends to be a kind of just like get my comics and kind of go because like I don't really want to stick around for like any like competitions and stuff like that that's just you know my style in a way of, of of participating in the event as well as that you know when there is a Korra or Avatar comic I usually want to get home as soon as possible to do coverage on it you know review it potentially put scans up if no one's going to be able to get it that sort of thing uh, which is what you can expect this year with this comic if I'm able to get it um, and yeah that's the core of the event uh, again it's it, the, the final thing would be that Again, I'm not sure if every store does this, but the way my local comic book store does it is that they do have to scan all of the free comics that you get through the kind of the register. Um, and I assume that's to keep track of stock and I suppose how many they've actually, you know, given away and so on. Uh, rather than just, you know, like, 
you literally pick it up off a table and leave the door without it ever going really properly through their system, what you've got or not. Uh, and it works quite well because then it means that you can, um, it, it means that you can obviously like pick up the comics that you want, and then you can uh, you can have your free comics being scanned through at the same time as like what you're actually buying. So it, it works quite well. It's very efficient the way my my store does it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So the the, the core. Of attending it is just judging how busy your local comic book store is and getting there with enough time to spare to, to make sure you get the books that you want especially if you want some of the more obscure ones you know try to go as early as possible you know there's a reason it's on a Saturday to I suppose give most people the, the best opportunity to attend whenever they want but um, from my experience, the couple of times I've I've maybe went a little bit later on in the day when there hasn't really been a book that I really want, there's tended to be like very little left after around like twelve o'clock. I, I, I that that's with my local comic book store. It's like nine to twelve. If you don't get in the store between those times, there's basically nothing left. There's maybe like a couple of the Marvel and the DC ones, the ones that they get tons of in left, but that's really it for the most part. Um. I suppose your local comic book store may also have like some sort of a, a sale on on most of their like uh, trade paperbacks as well. I think that's what my local comic book store does. They usually do like ten percent or something like that off trades, which is is, is is fairly good if you're planning to like buy a decent amount of comics on the day as well. And um, so yeah, that's that. Again, it's eight days away. May fifth is the day of the event. And the other, other thing here is to really get into what the comics actually are, what comics are available. So here they all are. Now, they tend to split them up into what's called gold comics and then uh, silver comics. The idea being that gold comics are like the, what you can see here, the 12 uh, big books, basically. I think this is like most of the, the big publishers, their one main book that they're kind of really wanting to promote this year. And these are the books that they get the most of in. So there'd be the most of these. These would be the easiest ones to get this year. But also probably some of the more popular ones. So you can see here they have Avengers, Captain America, uh, Barrier, which I've never heard of, uh, Power Rangers. Um, here's the here's the, the main Dark Horse one they're promoting this year, which is uh, Overwatch and Black Hammer. A lot of these books, you know, they'll be what's on the cover. Plus, there'll be a secondary story because they're all 22 pages, but uh, each story is only going to be 11. So most of the time, it is two kind of things. And um, you know, you can see here for like the kids, you know, DC superhero girls, Disney princess. Um, so there's like a, there's there, you you can sort of tell there's an attempt to also get kind of uh, girls into comics as well here. Uh, Doctor Who, Invader Zim, Pokemon, of course. I think there's been one of them like every year. Uh, Riverdale, that's an interesting one, um, Transformers is obviously going to be the ones that I get. Um, going into Silver, this is where you start to see that like, okay, there's still going to be some big titles here, but some of these will be more obscure, there won't be as many of these books available on the day. But you can see here like Bob's Burgers, um, The Simpsons here, Adventure Time, what else, Ghost in the Shell. So yeah, some of these will be from like manga publishers. And they'll just be like kind of black and white manga things. So that's pretty cool. I think this is My Hero Academia, which we'll get to later on down the list. But um, yeah, James Bond, Spider-Man. Here's Legend of Korra here, which I'll touch on in just a second. Um, Miraculous Ladybug there. Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, what else do we have? SpongeBob, Star Wars Adventures. This is from IDW, so it's slightly different than the usual Marvel comics. I think that's more kind of kid focused and um, what else do we have here tick street fighter um, and here my hero academia I, I think this is just going to be like 10 or so pages from probably stuff that like the current season of the comics cover and um, but they're, they're cool to get because like you don't usually get manga in like comic form like this and it's kind of weird to see it if, if you're used to like um just getting the kind of uh the volumes of mangas and, and not used to kind of seeing them in like this kind of issue format. It's, it's quite cool. Um, but yeah, the, the big one, obviously, I think Avatar fans are looking for is this one. Dark Horse's Silver comic, um, which is Legend of Korra and also Nintendo ARMS. So, you know, that, that'll be somewhat fun if you, if you know about what ARMS is. 
But uh, yeah, it's going to be a Korra and Milo story. Um, here's the description. When Milo shirks his duties at the refugee camp, Korra recruits him for a top, top secret, super important mission, tracking down a pack of lost pets. Um, as I said before, when I've discussed this, I'm... I'm interested to see what they do with it because, you know, I like Korra, I like Milo, the animals in Avatar are always cool, but is that all there is to this story? Because every other free comic has had, like, a, at least a hint at something bigger in it. Uh, Meizuko's relationship in Rebound, and um, Sakasuki's relationship in Shells, uh, the Kyoshi Warrior backstory in Shells, uh, Ty Lee's sisters in, um... Uh, sisters uh, in the Korra one that we got uh, two years ago at this point uh, how Korra and Naga met big stories this one <clears throat> doesn't seem like it has that unless one of the animals that they're looking for is potentially like a badger mole or something like that and there's some real kind of uh, impact to it uh, that's what I'm kind of a little unsure about here with this one like is it just going to be like Emph emphasizing how fun Milo is or will there be something more significant to what's going on here because we know Milo has a good connection with animals like we had the book two episode with him his father kind of teaching him how to like a uh, kind of uh, you know get, have control to some degree over like Pokey and some of the other lemurs and we saw that he managed to get control over the entire like population of lemurs on the island and he gets on well with animals in general but, you know, we can see here turtle ducks on the cover, you know, some sort of a parrot thing, the kind of cat owl, um, and so on. So, I assume the gimmick of this is going to probably be just getting to see a lot of crazy different animals. Um, but I hope there's something a little bit more, with, with a little bit more substance to um, what's going on here. But we'll obviously have to wait and see but um yeah that's free comic book day that's uh, everything i think that needs to be covered on the event let me know in the in the comment section if you're going to be attending uh your uh local comic book store free comic book day event as i told you already i will be at the big bang comics in dublin but uh yeah that has been the video thanks for watching and bye